Discord Theater Episode 1 Okay, I need some advice here. I have a friend who is planning on leaving his girlfriend and has been cheating on her. He talks nothing but shit when she's not around, but her only focus is him and she sees a life with him, if he doesn't break her heart. It goes much deeper, but I'm debating telling her the truth. Should I do it? Just let him handle his own situation, but advise him to do it soon, like now. And maybe tell her to cut all contact, no hookup, no texts, none of that. If you got proof, tell her, man. You'd want to know if it were you in the situation. You shouldn't be worried about keeping a guy friend who talks mad shit behind people's back. And cheats. <laughs> I disagree. Not everyone wants to know they're being cheated on. Bruh. If he's doing it with her, he'd do it with you. Katie, shut the fuck up. No one wants to know they're being cheated on unless it's their fetish, but they need to know. If I'm being intimate with a woman that has a shitload of partners that I don't know about at the same time, that would change whether or not I want to be intimate with her. It takes something consensual and makes it something else. Some people call that rape. If you, Katie, believe people would rather just be kept in the dark and continue on in a relationship without knowing, you're entitled to that wacky belief. But the fact that the chick would most certainly have a terrible reaction to the news shows why he would hide it. If there is a breakup happening, why break her heart more? It seems like overkill. Because he's a scumbag? Are you joking? But it doesn't hurt him. It hurts her. <laughs> Agree to disagree here, Kyle. <sighs> Pain is unavoidable in life. Sorry. The girl is in a vulnerable state. His douchebaggery in its entirety needs to be put on display. And here's why. And fucking pay attention. He breaks her up with her and says nothing about the cheating. She can end up believing it's her fault. She can vow to change or get better. She might still make herself available to him sexually because she's vulnerable and possibly even guilty. In your mind, she should be spared this information because ma feels, but it's really a lie by omission. I can guess you're both young and inexperienced, but take into account, Katie, that he's a two-faced shit talker. Male gossips are particularly fucking gross. But if she doesn't know, she might volunteer select information to him under the impression that she can trust him. You want it so that she isn't equipped with the knowledge of reality. If she knew that he talks shit, she could curb what she says. If she knew that he cheats, she'd know to stay away from him, not blame herself, and not to fuck him. With more information, we can make more informed decisions. She may not want to know, but she needs to. I'm not saying don't tell her he's a bag of cocks and shit talker, just a general trash person. And that's fact, she deserves to know all of it. <laughs> you make good points, I just see it differently. Cause you're chicken shit, but wait until you're, you experience life and have shit to lose. You'll know the value of time, and that time wasted, you'll never get back. Because talking like that would have gotten me beat four years ago. I'm not inexperienced. I'm just cautious. <laughs> Bitch. The beliefs you've shown here say otherwise. You're speaking like a teenager. Not everyone wants to know they're being cheated on your words. Pretty much no one does, but they need to. And they gonna break up anyway, so it just pain is your excuse? Bro, what? Here's a scenario. Kyle, I get your point. What if a guy is cheating on a chick and doesn't tell her and breaks up with her? I read your messages. I don't need the lecture, please. Since she doesn't know, she doesn't get checked for STDs. Let's say she contracts something that will fuck her life up. Just she's done. Because she didn't get treatment when she needed it. In this scenario, your reasoning of It would hurt her to know Slash Not everyone wants to know they're being cheated on It just doesn't work I call you inexperienced because the definition of ignorance is a lack of knowledge slash information When you deny someone knowledge and they are ill-informed You're crippling them I know women, sorry, I really do And a girl who is broken up with is very likely to still fuck with her ex very, very, very likely to still fuck with her ex. 
But if she knows he cheated, don't you think maybe she'd go in another direction? Think. I understand you. I am not dense. Gotta ask Katie. How old are you? 22. Psh, I don't know about that. All right. What? Sorry, I'm not 35? I could tell you weren't that. You just speak like someone whose exposure to the world is limited. Even if you harbor these short-sighted beliefs, you should have a handle on the world around you and what most would prefer. I'm no male feminist, but even I believe if dudes are fucking other hoes and not being upfront about it, that their girlfriend slash wife, that makes it non-consensual. And I can honestly say, I've never heard someone make your argument, ever. Of course I feel some kind of way about cheating. <laughs> like that shit sucks, and it's not right, and I'm not like that, and I only said it for a particular reason, okay? I understand your points, and they're good points. Let me repeat, I understand your points, and they're good points. And maybe I have wacky way of thinking about it, but I do have my reasons, and I don't think I'm a bad person for my personal experiences about cheating. Pop quiz. You're with a guy, right? It's serious. You're pregnant. About to get married. He's cheating. Three other women. Do you just... <sighs> Bruh. <laughs> Kyle, we all get it. Answer me. <sighs> Druid, you got your answer, my dude. Then tell me why. Answer and then tell me why. Sun Harpy says, Just adding my two cents. I'm with Kyle. I think not telling the chick that she's being cheated on makes you a bad person. You don't get to decide what someone else can or can't handle. That same kind of logic fuels the bystander effect. It's mostly coming down to you not wanting to get your hands dirty, so to speak. Small says, Truth hurts like a motherfucker. But it'll help you sort out priorities and get your ass in gear. Apply this logic to anything painful, and you can instantly fuck up your life. A loved one died, but no one wants to hear a loved one died. Your bank account is overdrafted, but... Okay! Uh, all y'all are right! No one wants to hear you're out of money. If you were... <laughs> If you were the basic chicks that I used to know with irrational opinions that they'd refuse to explain because they were impossible to explain, they'd blurt out something like, I was raped, okay? That's why I wouldn't want to know. You're still young and you have a lot of life experience to acquire, trust me. It's easier to get the painful knowledge sooner than later so you can heal and move on faster. It doesn't change the fact that people can only make the best decisions with the most information. This bitch out here getting screwed over and no one else should decide what she does or doesn't know. It's like ripping off a bandage. Get the truth. Get it as soon as possible. I promise she'll be a lot less infatuated with him knowing the truth and it'll help her move on from him. I ain't blurting out that I was raped or nothing. Every time, everything I got in my life, I deserved. I ain't blaming no one for nothing. Well, how's she getting country now? Um, didn't say that you were. I was just saying if you were one of the basic chicks that I knew. Because if right now he's her world and he's dropping her, she doesn't know his shenanigans, she's not going to move on. She's going to try to get him back. But if homeboy tells her the truth of what that man's been up to, she'll hurt, yeah. But she'll be able to move on from him sooner. I have experiences getting cheated on, and I'd rather hear the truth now than later. We still get heartbroken, regardless, and learn from these heartbreaks. Katie, I hope you don't feel targeted. If your doctor had the power to withhold information from you... Too late for that now, ain't it? and prevent you from getting the right and potentially immediately necessary treatment because of thinking like, not everyone wants to know that they're ill. Just think, your line of reasoning isn't just flawed, it's dangerous. 
And I know over time, you'll think differently. This isn't the same thing and you know it. It's exactly the same thing. It's potentially very dangerous for the girl's health. If she doesn't know, she's wounded, she may remedy for something different. I've seen it happen so many times. It's very much the same. You've made your point five or six times, my dude, and everyone is agreeing with you. But your bitch ass still don't get it. I'll keep keeping my mouth shut from this point on. Because you're crazy and I feel like you have to either be a contrarian or like 14 years old. Don't feel the need to be silent. Just recognize the difference between reality and how you feel. I fucking do! Do you? Y'all are the ones not letting shit go. Letting it go? Bitch, you said it. How many times do I have to say, I understand and you make good points? That doesn't invalidate slash erase your dangerous and inexperienced view. All which I've implored you to substantiate, but you can't. I'm legitimately worried about you carrying that opinion to any other ear slash eyes because it's poison. Poison that in your opinion, people would rather not know about so they wouldn't even be able to get the antidote for. Uh, Druid says, update. <laughs> we called all night and I ended up spilling everything and she cried. So I went over and hung out with her and we're getting breakfast and she's going to his place to discuss their future. Oh yeah. I don't care how you feel about me, Katie. Hate me if you want for calling you out on your nonsense. But, but, when you grow up, you'll understand how important it is to do that, to nip shit before it grows worse. I want you to frame your belief, screenshot it, print it out, ask people other than you, and learn. Knowledge is your friend, and smart decisions get smart results. Okay, I'll fuck off, thanks. I never said that. But you're triggered and that's fine. Remember in the future, if you move goalposts and put words in other people's mouths, you'll always, only, ever be invalidated. I'm not triggered. Just obviously unwelcome here, but that's cool. <laughs> if you make points and when counterpoints are made, you say, I'll fuck off or just let it go, that's your legacy. You're in no way unwelcome. That's a feeling of yours that you've mistaken for more. I'm dead fucking serious, Katie. Go ask your mother if she'd want to not know her parent is cheating. Life isn't a joke when you're out of school. She didn't. We don't have a family anymore. She didn't want to know that she was being cheated on? No. We had a future planned. We had Christmases. Hashtag Christmases. And it would have just phased out like it was when everything came out. It would be, be normal. And that's what I was trying to say. If somehow your mom wouldn't want to know she was being cheated on, then you're a product of her ignorance. I'm just a little kid that missed having family Christmases. So fuck me, right? Hashtag Christmases. Doesn't matter what plans you had, baby. It would have all been fake and inevitably fallen apart. There was no love there, only lies. You can't be past 17 years old and not understand that. I'm fucking 22, goddammit! You're lying about your age. How old are you really, Katie? I have two degrees from my university, so you can stop. Hashtag two degrees. My Christmases. The caps lock, the I'll fuck off. It's clear I'm not wanted-ish. Degrees and stupid aren't real. I am not lying about my age, goddamn! My Christmases. Look at this objectively. Do you know what that word means? Yo. Oh, no. Druid says that the girl is now a Kyle fan, so this petty drama had a good side effect. She can replace Katie since her ridiculous belief is going to be mocked by everybody with a brain. Whoa. I can have her join the Discord now if you want. I got degrees, but don't know, don't want to know I'm being cheated on. My Christmases. Can't you just lie a little longer, Daddy? I need some of my damn presents. Da Yuletide. Da Mistletoe. Da Tim Burton movie. Fucking stupid. <laughs> 
yo i'm that bitch he told me he told this is the girl this is the girl that was getting cheated on okay <sighs> girl i'm sorry about what you're going through we were all only speaking hypothetically about a person in your position but now that you're here I wanted to avoid you investing any more time in your life on that dirt bag. Even if he broke up with you, he might you might still be hung up and that'd be unfair considering we don't know how much time we have left. I feel so loved and supported. But y'all, the plot thickens, okay? I really feel like he, the boy I'm with, is not so bad. This is an issue. God damn, it's pouring outside all of a sudden. This is an issue that must be addressed, but I'm not quick to abandon ship. N not when I care for someone. I know I sound like an unfiltered dumb bitch for defending him, but he's still a good guy. Triple bruh. Tri triple bruh. The one cheating on you and talking shit behind your back? The, the, the guy inserting his dick into other girls without telling you about that? Fucking them until he comes, but not letting you know? Am I, am I getting pranked? She loves him like a lot, man. But that's not love, mate. It's weird, I know. That's a lack of self-respect. Bruh, that's not good. He will cheat on you no matter what. If she started by saying, hey, I don't care if you're with other chicks, fine. That's the, the standard for the relationship. But if he keeps things behind her back and she tolerates it, then he'll never stop. So if she's fine with being one of the many chicks that he penetrates, probably without a rubber, how would she know unless she's there? Fine. Kyle is right. But good guy is not what most people would use to define a guy that does that. Uh, but she's entitled to her own opinion and I respect her and it. Bruh. That's how you catch something. I agree, they've been through a lot and she's holding on to hope that isn't there. It's her life, man. She's free to live how the fuck she chooses. It's just a recipe for disaster. He won't respect her. Guess why? He doesn't have to. If he talks shit behind her back and fucks other girls and she gives her approval, he'll keep doing it. Maybe even graduate to more gangster shit. Give it a few months and I see this chick paying this dude's bills. It's a song as old as time. Is the power gonna go out? This rain is for real. Druid's like, he's on the way to her place in a few minutes, where he most likely is getting dropped, to be honest. This is, why, this is why what I said is so important about normal girls needing to know if they're being cheated on. When some girls are broken, they are broken. They'll take anything, they'll do anything, receive whatever you give, and if they don't know that they're being fucked over, they'll try to gift, pay, suck, anything back into that person's anything to get back into that person's good graces and before they know it a third of their life has been used the fuck up druid's like yeah i feel bad for her because she cares about this dude a lot and loves him but knows that he doesn't feel the same man some get it even worse pregnant by a dude who's not about that and if she let him fuck other women why stop now look fuck this stand with a baby crap i i could find another complacent woman to enable and support me through sexual conquest with, with other ladies, man. Based on what she said, the only thing getting dropped is this dude's pants so she can blow that baby. Record a vid, Bean Boy. No, 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 not of the not of the blowing of the, uh, you know, the altercation when he shows up. You know, I'm sure she's gonna be like, I forgive you. Lady's like, you sound like me when I was 16. He will cheat on you so many times and he will leave you for another girl later on. You're gonna regret it in your life. If she gives him the power to charm his way out of it, decrease the magnitude, maybe even make it seem like he's the problem. Oh my God. I can just see it every time you guys fight, he's gonna leave and do some stupid shit. Well, he could just find another hoe. Anytime she says no, he could find another hoe. Did you just say no? I'm gonna find another hoe. He's in the clear, and from the sound of it, he doesn't need to do much charming. I mean, he's a good guy, lol. Where can I find a woman like this? Druid, you gotta make it clear to this girl that she's surrendering all power to this guy. She'll forever be his bitch, because if she doesn't do anything he wants, he can immediately just say one of my side hoes will. Oh, man. Well... 
Katie left the Discord. So now production of my video can begin. Discord Theater, Episode 1. Thank you. Thank you. None, none of you are going to applause? What the fuck? Give, give me an applause, audience. I don't care. All right. Thank you. What the fuck? Jeez. 